Today's video is all about upcoming releases from Parfum du Cita. This is Fleur de Lalita and this is Erawan. We're going to do first impressions, mini reviews of these, plus you're going to have a chance at winning both worldwide in sizes like this. Coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And back to doing another video for Parfum du Cita. If you watched the video for Le Sillage Blanc recently, I mentioned in the video that I received a sample uh, from Pisara, the owner of uh, Parfum du Cita of Fleur de Lalita. I wore it in Italy, the remainder of my trip at the Pitti, and then I also wore it in Berlin and I ran out of it because it was so good. Uh, the person I was traveling with also really loved it, so I let her use it a little bit. Also another man that was with, traveling with us and he used it a little bit too. They both really loved it, but I was like, God, there's only a little bit of, of it in this bottle. That's how much it was. And I can't let them use this thing because it's really, really good. So I asked Pisara to send me another and she did, thankfully. And this is a glorious, wonderful, beautiful uh, release. And it's all about white flowers. And I'm so surprised that it's all white flowers. And uh, I'm becoming uh, like the white flower uh, fragrance lover. This is just beautiful. So um, they're not released yet. And I'm not sure when they're coming out. And the information I gathered here is from Fragrantica. Uh, no information was posted on the Parfum du Cita website. Fleur de Lalita is considered an oriental floral. And um, the notes for uh, Fleur de Lalita at the top, you've got rose, magnolia, jasmine, lily, galbanum, ylang ylang. In the heart, you've got ambrette seeds, exotic floral notes. In the base, you've got vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, and ambergris. So that's the first one. And then the second one is called Erawan. It's considered a woody aromatic fragrance. Now this one is the sleeper out of the two. Uh, it's not the one that's really exciting me as much as uh, Fleur de Lalita. But Erawan for notes you've got at the top herbal notes and pedigrain. In the heart you've got Lily of the Valley, Vetiver, Clary Sage, and Liatris. In the base you've got cedar, oak moss, and vanilla. So out of the two I'm really really loving Fleur de Lalita. Let's go ahead and quickly spray it and I'll give you my opinions of this one. And I've, I've worn it and I just love it. There's something uh, very very sexy about it. It's got slight bits of classic touches but I think hands down one of the best releases I've put my nose on this year and it hasn't even come out yet. It's just that that good. So let's spray it and give you my opinion. Oh, gorgeous. See, this fragrance stood out so much for me on this trip. As soon as I smelled it, memories of that trip because I wore it so much after the conference, after Pity. This is what I was wearing and I, I, my God, it's so good, so good. So it's a blend of flowers, a bouquet of beautiful flowers blended so beautifully at the top that you just want more of it. As it's drying down, the ambrette seed kicks in with more exotic flower notes according to the notes on Fragrantica. So it's, it's, it's all flowers. It's like, just imagine a big vase of all these beautiful, gorgeous smelling flowers and you're taking a whiff of it. That's exactly what you're getting with this fragrance. As it's drying down, it sweetens up with the vanilla, woody a little bit from the uh, sandalwood and more, a little more sweeter also a bit uh, almond-like uh, note at the base as well from the tonka bean and slightly aquatic from the ambergris but Jesus this is like uh, I actually actually I really really want a bottle of it it's that good and I it surprises me and myself that how I just love this one because I don't tend to react this way with floral notes it's floral notes are a little tough for me but I've actually been turning around to them as you saw, we did some videos for uh, floral fragrances. We did the EB Florals Fragrances uh, reviews, and we also did a top, top 20 uh, floral fragrances video. We've, do, we've been doing some floral fragrance videos, but this one, I have not reacted to a floral fragrance this exciting, this excitedly as, as I have to Fleur de Lalita. So just such a, such a gorgeous, oh my God. 
smells amazing. Like the word amazing, I don't want to use too much, but this freaking is amazing. It's that good. So if I had to pick my favorite fragrance from Parfum Lucita today, with all the releases they have, which includes um, Isara, which I really love, Le Siage Blanc, which I really love, there's Oud Infini, there's uh, La Douceur de Siam, there's Melody de Amour. Those are the releases that are currently selling. I would pick Flor de Lolita as my favorite of the whole entire house. Then it would be Isara, then it would be Le Siage Blanc, although Le Siage Blanc and Isara have become really tied, like as far as like favorites of the of, of mine so that they're really close neck and neck but Fleur de Lalita oh my god wow gorgeous like floral heaven bouquet of floral uh, florals just in your face that's how good that is I hope you get to try it um, let's go to Erawan uh, and see what this one's all about now this one is very woody it's a bit left field to me it just I mean it didn't excite me as much and I normally like this kind of fragrance which is the shocker of the two, I thought this would be the one I would really love, but it turned out to be Flor de Lalita, which, you know, noses amaze me, so I'm amazed with this uh, reaction. But let's go ahead and smell it. So Erawan, so right off the bat, it's herbal. Um, it, it has like this woody um, herbal quality. Uh, there's a bit of a chocolatiness also. I don't know where that's coming from, but I think that hay note in here, I guess it's hay or uh, it looks like hay, but it says it's liatris. According to uh, Google, is known as gay feather. I don't know what that means. I've never even heard of this flower, but it's a flower. So I'm, I'm assuming maybe that's the note that I'm not recognizing here that's smelling a little bit like chocolate, but I've smelled so many flowers in my lifetime and there's those that smell very floral and there's those that smell very woody. Some don't even smell like flowers at all. They smell like weeds. This to me kind of smells like a, a non-floral kind of a floral, acting like a woody kind of a floral note, if that makes sense. So it's a complex fragrance with that extra layer of, layer of like chocolatiness. Where's that coming from? I don't know, but uh, it's unique that way. So. Imagine opening up a box of like wood chippings with flakes of flowers, like dried up flowers mixed in. It, 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 that's kind of what I'm getting, but that extra layer of chocolate and then there's also a little bit of like tobacco in here, hints of tobacco that's acting really interesting. Now it's really, really unique. Um, this is not a kind of fragrance I would wear all the time, but if I want to kind of wow somebody, then I would probably pull for something like Erawan. Um, but it's, it's a unique take on a fragrance and I think this will be quite interesting for some people and some people might not react to it very well. But for me, it's, a, it's yes, I like it, but I don't love it. So you might like it more than I do and uh, people always react differently to fragrances. Some people like this kind of fragrance and other people like that kind of fragrance. But for me, this one's um, not like a wow factor kind of a fragrance, but it's good. It's not, it's not the kind of fragrance I would really like go after and tell somebody like go go check it out but if I want somebody to say something like uh, check out the very very unique fragrance called Erawan it's really different but that's the kind of thing I would say to somebody about this particular fragrance because it's very very unique it's nothing like I've smelled before just very herbal dry woody with that coating of chocolate where is that coming from I don't even know but check it out you might actually like it um, but for me, the winner out of the two that's coming up very soon is Fleur de Lalita. Man, it's so good. Uh, just awesomeness. Like a, you're taking a whiff of all these flowers mixed so beautifully together. Just gorgeous. So if you want to try out these two new releases, or actually not even released yet, upcoming releases from Parfum Dusita, um, please make sure you're subscribed here and put a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on these two fragrances. Also, let me know what your favorite current oriental floral fragrance is and then also please let me know what your woody, favorite woody aromatic fragrance is because you're going to have a chance at winning uh, both of these. Seven mils, approximately seven mils that are like this. Um, and uh, you'll get them delivered to you worldwide and you'll, have to, you'll get a chance at experiencing fragrances from this awesome, awesome niche brand out of Paris um, that I really, really love. I love everything about this brand and I love the perfumer that 
um, you know, works with the fragrances Pizarra, and they are amazing group of people, and so you should definitely check them out. If you want to buy their fragrances, they sell them at uh, Lucky Scent, and then they also sell them at ZGO here in San Francisco. So if you're in San Francisco, stop into ZGO and go check out Parfum Lucita. But otherwise, uh, Lucky Scent sells them. You can order them. Um, and of course, ZGO order, you can order them from ZGO as well. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on Parfum Lucita. Are you familiar with the brand? Are you curious to try any of their fragrances? Have you tried them? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you own them? Let me know. Please put a comment down below so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.